Hey guys, Mars Aiken here bringing you another Dragon Ball Z Dokkan battle video. And so today we are going to be taking a look at the LR Super Saiyan trio and the 200% Super Saiyans team against uh, the Omega event. Um, I think this is, as much as I, they won't have any links, I feel like this is quite a good opportunity here to get um, some build up on both of these Gokus. So I'm going to do this. Um, basically, what I want to try and do here is I do want to get some build up for STR Carnival Goku, but because God Goku's on the next turn, I don't really want to float off Carnival Goku, Tech Carnival Goku, because he's going to be my other slot one unit. Um, of course, we take a super straight away, so it would have been great to have Tech Carnival Goku in slot one here, but at least STR Carnival Goku can eat some attacks. STR Carnival Goku is a unit that really didn't do very well for the Dismal Future Red Zone, but because the Tech Omega stage is not as bad, or phase, is not as bad as any of the first phases of the Dismal Future Red Zone, he's able to get that little build, bit of build-up early on, which can then help us out for later on in the event. So I feel like that's uh, worth the risk. Of course, this Omega slot one supers so regularly, which is very, very annoying. But I guess it's... Uh, what can you do, eh? But yeah, the LR Super Saiyans, they came out at the end of last year for both versions of the game at the same time. But Global, of course, did not have the Omega event yet. So it's not an event that we were able to jump into with them and sort of test out and see how good they were. So I definitely wanted to get the opportunity to do that here. Um, the other ones were in slot 7, eh? Okay, so that means they will be on the next rotation. So we'll do this. Um, we got... Oh, we can get 8 orbs. Oh, well, that'll do, I suppose. Eight orbs for you, and then we get a bunch of orbs for you. Gives us a good bit of healing. It's very, very important that you get the six orbs with God Goku uh, if you're using him in this event, because in the first phase, you can't dodge. So you want to get those six orbs to get the guard. Otherwise, he can potentially take a fair bit of damage, especially if he is going to be eating a super. Uh, plus, of course, the six orbs give him the guaranteed additional super, which is another stack on his defense. So coupled with the guard, right, you want his defense to be as high as possible so that he's actually able to tank uh, these attacks, right? But the LR Super Saiyan Trio, I'm expecting some great things from them here, right? Like, the first phase is tech, so we definitely have the possibility that they just kind of fly through this first stage by doing so much damage to him. Um, and then, of course, they are a unit that, on any given turn, their performance and how crazy they can look is kind of based on how well they did on the previous turn. So, like, here, we only got the one super attack. And every time, <laughs> I love the fact that with the sprite for the super attack animation, they all get a spike. That's pretty funny. Um, but yeah, they get the stacks of their attack for three turns. So the more supers you do, on the next turn they come around, they've kept all of those attack stacks go over. And then that, of course, makes all of their supers on that turn hit so much harder. And of course, if you are going to go ahead and use the active skill, it makes the active skill hit a lot harder as well. So, that's something that's uh, worth keeping in mind. Um, I guess we definitely want to get some build-up here with Goku if we can. Uh, I mean, we can because there's plenty of key. But, do I want to go for... Yeah, I suppose we're going to kill him this turn anyway. Which is a little bit awkward for the Super Saiyans. They are another one of these units where any units that really want to do a certain number of attacks... Uh, whether it's within a turn or if it's for stacking or like the Super Saiyans to give themselves a bit more of a buff for next turn. It is always kind of awkward when you're faced with a rotation like this where the enemy's going to die like fairly quickly because obviously my LR Super Saiyans are only 69% right they have the one dupe but they are going to kill him here with the one super which means they get that one greatly raise of attack and defense to carry over to the next turn. Of course it's very important to get the 18 key because it's the one that gives them that little bit of extra defense ready for the next turn. But it should be okay here. Um, this would have been a great turn to actually have Trunks on rotation. Because Trunks is going to be in a bit of an interesting spot here. Because against the STR phase, like obviously we really want him to attack first. In order to be ready to take hits. Um, and we can get six orbs. I think I would probably rather try and get more attacks, right? Because getting the extra orbs means the extra potential for uh, the super attacks that then carry us over to the next turn. This is a really good turn to have Gohan in slot 3, though. Because, of course, post-super attack, Gohan is uh, very, very tanky. 
So he's going to eat all of those attacks in slot 3 very nicely. We got the orbs for Goku, so he has his guard. So he's going to get a couple more stacks on his defense here. Of course, we would still ideally like him to dodge if there's a super attack coming, but at least he does have that guard. And then normal from the hidden potential. Super incoming straight away. And he does dodge, okay. I wasn't sure how late in that animation his dodge thing was going to come up, so I wasn't really sure if we were actually going to get it then or not. But... 4,000 damage to future Gohan from the AoE <laughs> before he's attacked. And then the Super Saiyans here. We picked up six orbs, so they get two guaranteed additional attacks. Uh, one normal. Come on, give me at least one super here, boys. Come on. There we go. That's what we like to see. And then hidden potential maybe as well. The friend is rainbow. Uh, I didn't check the build because it's just the friend that came up as the recommended. It was just a guest rainbow friend. Um, so I didn't check their build. No hidden potential additional super, sadly. Then look at Gohan, 8.7 in slot 3. Like, Go Gohan and Trunks, the two worldwide celebration part 2 LRs, really, really good on this team. Um, Gohan able to do a lot of damage. If we are able to get his domain, then obviously that's a huge buff as well. His active skill is very, very good. Um, yeah, look at him go. Nice uh, overall damage there. And then, yeah, he obviously just eats all of these attacks now for double-digit damage. In fact, everyone on the rotation will. Or Goku will just dodge everything. So God, Goku did actually dodge every single attack. <laughs> and then there's Gohan. Like father, like son, eh? Two dodges back to back. Mine, um, my Gohan and Trunks only have one dupe each. I wonder how many... Um, how much dodge does he have? I'm sure, surely I wouldn't have given him that much. Because he's a very defensive unit. He has six. So six dodge and eleven. I guess a lot of the times on certain teams, you're going to potentially be using him as a slot one unit. But... Oh, this works out really nicely. Although, if I do this, it's going to cut off the in orbs from above, which is not great. Because look at that. We can get all of those if we were to go that route. But I do really need to have... Um, I do really need to have the tech Goku in slot one. So we'll do that. Yeah, it's a bit of a shame. But we do still get six orbs at least. Uh, out of this, you know, because you either want to get this uh, six or nine because multiples of three. Uh... Trunks has to take one AoE. He's at 387k. He is the second one getting hit, so it won't be as powerful. So I think he'll be okay. I mean, to be honest, there is the possibility that the Super Saiyan trio just kills him. Although he is healing again at the start of the turn, which is annoying. Um, we'll see how we go. Another stack for Goku. 8.3. Remember, Goku getting hit first as well. He gets that little bit of extra attack, and I believe effective against all types, right, when he gets hit first. So, he does some okay damage here. <laughs> Little bit extra from the normal. We love to see it. And now he's getting supered. So, with his 18 key raise and then the guard. Yeah, 225. That's not too bad. This team has 800k. I can't remember if I said that already. But this team has 800k HP. <laughs> so, we are in a pretty good spot in order to uh, tank a bunch of these hits. Um, I'm hoping here that Trunks uh, is going to survive an AoE if it comes to that. But... The Super Saiyan boys definitely could end things here, depending on the RNG. The first additional was a super. We've got one more coming as well. Be a super? No. Hidden potential? No. Okay, well. Come on, Trunks, buddy. Don't throw. Oh, let's go. I don't know how much dodge my Trunks has either, but <laughs> I will absolutely take that. And, of course, Trunks builds up his own little bit of attack and defense and I think some key by doing additional attacks, right? I did actually bring up his details because it's, yeah, one key up to five and defense 10% up to 50 with each uh, super attack performed. So, or with each attack performed. Um, so obviously he builds up damage reduction within the turn, but he needs to attack a bunch of times to just get a nice flat boost to his key and attack and defense. So honestly, him actually being able to get some attacks in at the end of the turn is pretty beneficial for us in the long run as well. So we'll check out the uh, build for him here in a second. What is, what is Carnival Goku up to now? Because, yeah, it's a shame that it's just, even in events like this, like, we're not able to really get his full build up here. But he's a basically 400k. He's got damage reduction, so that's not too bad. How much dodge does Trunks have? It's, oh, it's five. Oh, six. Okay. So him and Gohan both ended up with six dodge. I'm not sure what I would give their final build if I get the second dupe at some point. But, um... We definitely could have a spicy turn here. Hmm. Do we just go for the active skill? I think we do. 
Yeah, let's do it. Let's put the uh, we'll put the animations on. Let's go for the active skill here for. Uh, we could even try going for the active skill for Goku as well, because then we don't have to worry about the orbs, because there's so many in orbs that I really want to give the Super Saiyans. So if we transform God Goku, then we could be really cooking here. So let's see. They should do a decent bit of damage. I think they got they got what at least two supers on the previous turn. Not going to be the crazy, like, you know, following a four or five super turn active skill. But we are going to get guaranteed crits off of them for the rest of the turn. I mean, 14 mil, I'll take it. Shows you how much HP he has, though. That's not even a full bar of his HP gone from 14 mil. So let's go ahead and you probably... Do you get some extra links from you? You don't. I'll put you in the middle anyway, though. But yeah, there you go. I will not let you destroy my world. I love this active skill. I'm so glad that we actually got this. Like, of all the releases of 2023, some being hit and miss. Like, them doing this God Goku for Saiyan Day and actually giving him the that, you know, voice line active skill in the really good quality as well. Such an awesome, like, overall release. So, really happy about that. Um, so, yeah, let's do this. And then... See, now that he's Super Saiyan Goku, we've got a lot more orbs going on here. And these guys are actually... All their links are active. Because they share five, and then these guys are going to share, what, super uh, legendary power and... Is it Golden Warrior or Saiyan Warrior Race? Yeah, Saiyan Warrior Race. So they have every link active here. 12 key. <laughs> what is their defense after doing the active skill? A million. Okay, so that's good. Um, <laughs> so then let's do this. Full 24 key means a guaranteed additional super for that STR Carnival Goku as well. So yeah, we should have a really good turn here. We've got our full uh, full health, so we're at 800k uh, HP. Carnival Goku only taking 26k from the AoE is actually really good as well. <laughs> Dodge for them. Yeah, now he takes double digits with now that he's fully built up. That's really good. And then Super Saiyan Goku, his attack stats aren't as high now, but once he's transformed, he has guaranteed crit for a couple of turns, as well as the ability to do additionals. So he can look pretty good here. And then uh, this is where we're. This is where things are gonna kick up a gear, hopefully, with the Super Saiyans. Full key, tons of orbs, so they're gonna get all their additionals. We did the active skill this turn, so guaranteed crits. 17 mil for the first one here. And of course, we don't have to worry now about Carnival Goku because we know he's tanking AoEs for double digits. He's not getting attacked in the last slot, so we don't have to worry about him getting supered. And then the more supers that the Super Saiyans get here. Um, they're not going to take much damage if Omega supers them as well. So, we've got one super, one normal. <sighs> Two normals. Hidden potential. Man, that's always disappointing with these RNG-based units. It was always the same with, like, STR LR Cooler and stuff as well, right? Because it's like the turn we get the active skill where we're getting guaranteed crits. That's when you really want, like, as many supers as possible. But, <laughs> 26k. <laughs> Is that it? Good stuff. And then, yeah, Carnival Goku here. He's fully built up now. Is that, what, 12 mil? And then he gets a guaranteed additional 12 key super here, which is 9.1. Pretty good. Um, so next turn, probably going to be the last turn. Maybe even from the uh, My Super Saiyans active skill. They got a couple of supers on the last turn as well. So, yeah, we are looking very good. Oh, we get the domain as well. We're going to get Gohan's active skill here, I think, right? You can use it. It's on the turn you use the domain, right? Yeah. Oh, look at this rotation as well, bruh. <laughs> I don't even have to worry about Tech Carnival Goku here. This is crazy. Um, I mean, I guess I don't actually even have to attack here, right? Like, let's do this first to skip. Can't remember if they... Do they even have an uh, KO screen? I want to get future Gohans if he, if he has one. Because this shouldn't kill. Oh, look at that. It almost did, but... There you go. Uh, sorry, Omega, but I guess it's GG. So there you go. The 200% Super Saiyans team. <laughs> I do love, I love this active skill. When we saw this, like this, I, I, I was never a big fan of Future Gohan as a character in general. I was one of the many people I really wanted like an LR Rose or something for part two of the Worldwide. But seeing his card details and seeing this animation got me so hyped to summon for this unit. So... There we go. The uh, father and mentor assisted uh, attack 
There's the KO screen. You did it, future Gohan. You saved the GT verse from Omega Shenron. Just how I remember it in the show. But there you go. So that is the LR Super Saiyans and the 200% Super Saiyan team. No item run versus Omega. <laughs> we end the run basically on full HP as well. So yeah, very, very powerful team. Very good showing from them against Omega Shenron. Uh, so yeah, let me know what you guys think down below in the comments section. And as I've been saying with these things and on streams and stuff, uh, if there's any uh, units or teams you want to see specifically taken up against the Omega Shenron event, let me know down below in the comment section and uh, some of those will end up being videos. So that is going to be it for the video, guys. This has been The Master Ningen. Smash that like button, subscribe to the channel if you are new. Check out the links down below for the Discord and the merch store and I will see you all again soon. Have a good one.